Is this don't, some, like, Christmas just don't. story shit? This is nuts. <laughs> yeah, it's like the tongue sticking to the flagpole. Don't pole. lick your steel plugs and put them in your ear. Take a look around. Do you have the feel? The feel for steel? <laughs> Katie, take it away. <laughs> there was so much buildup for that. <laughs> like, that was... Do you feel good? Do you, you feel better? Everybody watching at home sees a video and doesn't know the surrounding, the environment, the day, how it's 100 degrees outside. 97. Close enough. <laughs> hey, yeah, yeah. We are Plug Your Holes. I am Katie. This is Sam Dean. Hi. The man... The myth, the legend. I'm just the Sam Dean. I'm just some guy. Legend. Okay. Anywho, I give a really good high five. I'll I'll I'll, I'll take credit for that. <laughs> Anywho, what are we talking about today, Sam? I never get to ask you that. So fair enough. Today we're talking <laughs> about steel. We're talking about the probably most loved, sought after, common. It it has a lot of versatility. Yeah. It mm -hmm. has you know you, we can make a lot of different shapes, colors, and sizes out of it. It's more sanitary, it can be autoclaved, it can be sanitized, right. it can be used for a bunch of different applications. We recommend steel for stretching when your ears are fresh and you want them to be sanitary. Yes, check uh, out our starter kits. Starter kit. Size up packs. Yeah, pickety pack. Yep, they come with an ear butter. There you go. And uh, if you haven't seen our ear butter video, uh, link in the description. and It's down there somewhere. You can see the massive benefits of ear butter and maybe even get yourself some lip butter for the lippy lips. Would you believe me if I told you that Katie is number two? She's li literally, if you call Ghostbusters, Katie's going to answer. Or she ain't afraid of no ghosts. It's true. Yeah. Let me tell you about the pros and cons about steel, plugs, tunnels, it saddles, hangers, the whole nine yards. I would say, you know, the pros for the most part I've already mentioned with their sanitation, the shimmer, the colors, the a lot of the good stuff that you want in your plugs. The cons are really just going to be one if you have a nickel, nickel allergy. Ours are 316L surgical stainless steel. Uh, if you have a nickel allergy, you're going to have to go with something more refined, like a 316 LVM would be like implant grade steel. Uh, but these for 99% of people are perfectly fine. But if you do have a nickel allergy, that is something to be cautious of. Yeah. Uh, and then I would say on top of that, I don't really, I can't think of any. I guess it would just be personal preference, honestly. Personal preference, weight, maybe Ew. blue cheese. Yeah. And then like finding the shape you like. Right. Yeah. Because like I, I don't like threaded and I don't like single flare. Yeah, that uh, that's fairly common. The threaded part is just like it's too much work, you know, and you got to like really get it lined up. Mm -hmm. Oh, and if you have long nails, absolutely not, sis. Get them out of here. Yeah, so, exactly. And yeah. it's like uh, as much as I love the fact that our threaded tunnels come with the starter kit and the size of packs, it's just not my preferred type of yeah. steel jewelry. Uh, but I will say the great thing about them being stainless steel is they don't strip. So it's like even if you are a little wonky on mm -hmm. your threading, they're, you're not going to strip them out, or you'd have yeah. to really, yeah, in a major way to yeah. to just like yeah. shred that or like yeah. take you, a, taking apart an IKEA bit. You're going to have to have like a comp, like a, a freaking <laughs> impact drill on the back end of that son of a bitch in order to get that done. Uh, could other, you imagine? I could. Don't do that. Don't don't. Heard it here first. Another piece of Sam Dean wisdom. Don't be the asshole on TikTok <laughs> or YouTube who is the butt of that joke. Ooh. So able to do a lot of cool stuff, able to, you know, make things like this where we have some dangly bits, you know, and uh, just have some fun with it, you know. I will say in, with steel, though, like you're the saddles, which is like kind of like the thing in the last like year and mm. a half, like a lot more of these type of saddles um, in steel. That is where that's really where the popularity is right now. When you do wear a saddle. Um, there's no misshaping or anything like that that happens to your ears. Obviously, you want a healed earlobe. You know, your ear's going to just fall in line with yeah. the shape because it's not, you're not dealing with cartilage. You're dealing with just the soft tissue of the lobe. A don't, lot of people have concerns about it, like deforming their ears right. long term, and it, it doesn't. Yeah, I mean, don't no. wear them for like, you know, 24 hours. Don't sleep in them. 
Yeah, I mean, I would I wouldn't, say. I wouldn't, I mean, personally, I would just, I just naturally take my earrings, you know what I mean, same. anyway. Yeah, so same. I guess that's just habit. But like, I also would just think that those are uncomfortable because they're steel. I mean, they're just like harder. So, yeah. but I mean. I would say freshly stretched if you did a starter uh, kit. Uh, yeah, you're going to yeah. want to keep the thing in for a few weeks. Oh my gosh, yeah, because um, it's going to like mold around it. And you don't want to have to go through <laughs> the trauma of like doing it over and over again. Uh, yeah. And the only other thing I would say is a con about steel in general. I come from a very cold place. Oh. Uh, I was born and raised in northern Minnesota. And, uh, is this some don't, like Christmas just don't. story shit? This is nuts. <laughs> yeah, it's like the tongue sticking to the flagpole. Don't pole. lick your steel plugs and put them in your ear. I was just going to say don't wear steel plugs or tunnels in the wintertime when it's, you know, 20 below zero Fahrenheit. What if you get stranded and you need it for like a survival? I don't know. Don't, I wouldn't, I'm just saying I wouldn't rule it out. Just don't lick them. One other <laughs> slight detail I do have though, and this is something that I was not aware of early on, but uh, I've had experience with it. Uh, people in uh, the electrical field, people who are electricians, things like that, don't wear things like this for the sake of arcing, grounding, things oh, of that nature. Duh. Um, but outside of that, I mean, those are a pretty small amount of cases in which this doesn't work for somebody outside of preference so uh check them out and let us know if there's anything you want to see from us if you want a bigger breakdown of anything that we're doing mm -hmm. anything we make or anything you want to see us make just let us know in the comments below we'll reply and to quote how ridiculous we'll pin you i'm not gonna do an australian accent because woof oh bluey wait crikey should i not a are we gonna get sued for that i don't know anyway we're gonna leave now like and subscribe <laughs> and Talk to us. Go to plugyourholes.com, talk to us, shoot us a f***ing message, hit us on Instagram, do whatever you gotta do. We love the interactions. Come out to the events that we do. Hang out with us, give us hugs. Meg will give you the best hug. But you have to ask permission first. True. Because that's just polite. True. It's 2023. <laughs> okay. Thanks, everybody. Bye. Love ya. Take a look around.